As we approach the 10 year anniversary of Katrina, a local photographer is showcasing his talents and memories with a brand new exhibit. My guest this morning is Al Casimo Harris, who created the 10 year journey reflections of a family identity and New Orleans. This exhibit looks at life following the storm. So good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right. So let's talk about uh, this exhibit and uh, obviously I know the influence, but uh, how and what made you want to start this one? I think I had kind of like survivor's remorse mm -hmm. when I was in graduate school and I didn't cover Katrina. So it was, I was a, a new journalist mm -hmm. in a sense. And uh, so I was at Ole Miss and I didn't come back until 45 days after. And then even then, I wanted to tell a different narrative. I thought that pictures of destruction and things like that were important. Right. But being on the street, I saw so many different stories and it I was fascinated by that and then my family's journey and then I started to realize that over the 10 years New Orleans my family and myself had changed a lot and your uh, work has been featured in you know museums and exhibits uh, almost across America um, what about this one makes it so unique and what are some of the things we can see it's intimate it's an intimate view into my life my mm -hmm. family's life uh, I have some pictures of uh, just what's happening in New Orleans. I think it was good benchmarkers mm -hmm. of those type of events as well as my family events. Things that may seem that normally you may pass up, but when you see it, it's captivating when you take a time. And you know, this, uh, your work will be, you know, there, there will be several of these and, and it's good to get them out because obviously there's, every photographer has a different eye. Uh, one thing about this exhibit is, what has it taught you about this city and the people of the city and even your family? It is ever changing and I think it just teaches you to slow down a little bit mm -hmm. and really uh, realize that something's ever changing and to capture the moment and don't look over things. Right. Um, your influences, where, where, where do you get some of your influences from uh, for the work? I mean, just from some of the pictures I saw, uh, you know, the, just like that blurred effect. I'm like, I would have never thought of something <laughs> like that. Gordon Parks, mm -hmm. W. Eugene Smith, uh, church, uh, jazz, just a lot of things. I went to Italy once on a uh, study abroad trip mm -hmm. in uh, Cavaggio. I really liked the way he, he lit things. So just wherever. Very good eye. And so this new exhibit, we're all excited about it, of course. Uh, when can we see it and uh, where will it be? It's at the McKenna Museum, 2003 Carondelet. Mm -hmm. Today we have a happy hour from 68, 6 to 8 mm -hmm. p.m. And we have a grand opening next Friday from 6 to 9 p.m. And one of the cool things about that is Christian Scott, uh, the Grammy-nominated trumpeter, will be performing uh, on Friday. All right, El Casimo Harris, thank you so much, man. Very much looking forward to this. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.